So after we've spoken about this Thai street food festival, uh, it's time to move on to a fairly new cuisine. Now, uh, this is a cuisine that you may or may not heard of. It's called the Chino Latino. Uh, there's a story behind it. In the 1850s, a lot of Chinese workers immigrated to Cuba. Now, a lot of these workers came from the south where the temperature and the climate was pretty much like how it is in Cuba. And when these guys came, they brought in their fruits, their vegetables, their sauces, and most importantly, even their cooking techniques. So after some time, these Chinese workers started using local ingredients and fusing it with their techniques. And thus was born a naturally fused cuisine which was called Chino Latino. Now, this almost died one century later because most Cuban chefs didn't even have access to the basic ingredients and hence couldn't innovate. Asia de Cuba is now bringing this legacy back with their interpretation of what the Chino Latino cuisine would have been today. So with their beach-facing views, high-energy vibes and their fantastic menu, this restaurant is taking the Abu Dhabi culinary scene by storm. Classy, fun and glamorous are the only words that can describe this fantastic restaurant. I think we're dealing with extremely unique project. Um, Asia de Cuba together with the China Grill Management has been on the international market for nearly 30 years. Um, the first Asia de Cuba was open in New York and after we had a huge expansion into our markets like London, Bahrain and Abu Dhabi. It's a pure Chino Latino interior when um, a big amount of the pieces was brought directly from Cuba and other restaurants from Asia de Cuba. Loads of effort was put into a selection of the glasses and the cutleries and, and the china um, just to highlight the beauty of the Chino Latino cooking. Asia de Cuba is extremely famous from serving a Chino, Chino Latino cooking, a very traditional fusion of the cuisine coming directly from Havana in Cuba. The service is very laid back, very professional, and we absolutely love in Asia de Cuba interacting with our customers. But also the way how Luis Pose has designed the dishes, they always have the theatrical element while we bring in them to a table. At Asia de Cuba, we have quite few signature dishes. We have amazing shrimp, uh, shrimp ceviche, full of flavor, because we're always taking the pride of the freshest ingredients. Um, we also have a mojo duck, um, a fog dish, uh, one of the favorites of our customers, and that's the dish when we when we always, with the pride, presenting the theatrical element of serving this to the table. Seven Spice Chicken, a pure signature dish, um, the biggest seller, one of the favorites of not only the adults, but also the, the, the children. We have people traveling from Dubai to us, to Asia, to Cuba, to have a, you know, to have a taste. Um, 30 years of history, 30 years of improving the recipes by different locations of Asia de Cuba. And I think we are on the right track to have the best sweet potato fries. Asia de Cuba is a concept absolutely for everyone. We've been absolutely blessed. I think we're sitting in a one, one of the most beautiful locations in the UAE. Um, we have beach access, we have rooftop, but I think what makes us absolutely special and unique is the human factor. We absolutely love what we do. We've been extremely passionate. Uh, we're taking a huge pride of working with China Grill Management and Asia de Cuba. But the passion for people and passion for food makes us absolutely unique. We've partnered with um, an entertainment platform, Rabbit Black. Rabbit Black gives us a huge possibility of expanding with the biggest dreams of creating amazing New Year's Eve, having fantastic Red Bull events. But the most important and the recent event was the white party done with the collaboration with Rabbit Black. I think what was special about the White Party was the whole entertainment setup, having the dancers from Ibiza, having a DJ from Ibiza, having a fantastic sound system and a huge support of the St. Regis Hotel um, made us a very, very successful during that event. And I think the best reaction was a question, when is the next one? I love the decor here. I love being able to come and sit outside and enjoy the view. It's perfect for winters here to spend time outside. And even in the summers, it's great to be inside. The decor is amazing. Staff is so friendly. 
everything is great. Hamba is actually a very relaxed, very casual. In fact, it doesn't feel like you're in Abu Dhabi. It feels like one of those lazy Caribbean beaches and food always is very good. And we like to have short eats and variety, which is what it is here. I love their food. It's really colorful. Uh, especially the brunch menu, it's fantastic. The drinks are amazing, they're always really refreshing and really colorful. Um, I love sitting on the beach and just watching the sunset and uh, being here at Asia de Cuba. Uh, whenever my friends come and visit me here, I bring them to Asia de Cuba because it's just, it's the best view, it's the best vibes, uh, food is great and uh, everything is just really lovely.